Ultimate Mini Keyboard and Mouse by Logitech. This is the MK220. All right, let's do this. I got this guy, it was proper cheap. It was $28 Australian dollars from Woolies. And the deal you get with this keyboard is actually amazing. So I wanna show you what you get with a beautiful time. Now this is a, actually, it's a really gorgeous keyboard. And what's fun about this one, it comes with a full on keys. You get the numcads over here. It feels, it feels nice. It, Actually, it feels really good. And guys, if you do have a MacBook Pro, you're gonna be needing one of these keyboards because the keyboard on a MacBook Pro is a bit unreliable. So you can make it stand up here. Look at that design. It's got a nice pad here. It's really nice to type on. It sounds like I'm working, I'm doing some cool stuff. At the beginning, I didn't like this gap over here. I thought it was a bit asymmetrical, but now I realize why it's a good idea to have it because the center focus point is the QWERTY keys. You wanna have your hands on the keys here. So now that your hands on the keys here, if this bit was a cut out, the focus would be around here. So it does help balance the magic. And regarding magic, look at that, you get a mouse with it. And this is a full on 1000 DPI mouse. And this is Logitech's, the best of Swiss technology mouse. And if you don't know, Logitech make the best mice. And to be honest with you, I wasn't a fan of Logitech recently until I found out there you go, what does that say? It says, I'm made in Switzerland. Now I've got a Swiss model girlfriend to wife, so I gotta support the cause. What's also cool about this package is, look at this. You get full size batteries for the mouse and the keyboard. What's really cool about this also is, according to the box right there, it says that the keyboard should last two whole years of charge and the mouse only needs to be charged every five months. My friends, what a deal batteries, all that stuff. So I'm gonna get this out with you right now, showing you how to install it, make it work. So first, the mouse. Swipe down here. Put the big guys in the mouse. Swipe it in like that. And the mouse is out. How does it feel? It feels nice to hold. It's a nice, big, chunky mouse. Fills up your hand really well. Next up is the keyboard. And you swipe down, the down arrow says it and you've got two little keys, like that, like that, and like that. Now I know you guys need a tutorial for putting batteries in keyboards because that is life. And I've got it plugged in right there, it feels pretty good. And all you do to get it working, you plug this in to your computer. And if, and if you do have a modern MacBook laptop computer, you're gonna need one of these little dongles and you plug it in like that and then you can plug it in to the situation. That's the keyboard for you. Now you might be wondering, damn, this keyboard is really cheap. How good is it? Well, look at this. I previously bought one of these cheap $19 keyboards from eBay, eBay, and this is, this is what I got. I got this keyboard, it's really small, and I got this mouse, and in comparison, I'll give you a little comparison with the kind of cheapness. This is what Logitech gives you, a nice solid keyboard, and this is, look at this, it's a baby mouse. This is the kind of crap that you get on eBay. Be careful of the photographs because you can't, this, this is an impossible to use mouse. And the worst thing about this is, I don't know if you can actually tell, but these keys are spongy. You tap on it and it's, you lose balance. I'm kind of accentuating the action, but it's kind of like you tap on it and the whole key loses its place. It's like, I feel like I'm playing Tomb Raider and I'm on a little balancing, it's like a balancing act. Whereas these keys, it's nice and solid, you can type on it. These ones are all over the shop. They're very spongy and disgusting to use. So you don't want this crap. You want a proper, nice, solid keyboard. And this is Logitech, the best a man can get if he was a bit confused about if he was a man or a computer. There you go. What is it like in a female's hands? Okay, ooh, I like the keyboard. I like the mouse, the mouse is nice. It feels really good. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. That is like a kid's mouse. What the hell is that piece of rubbish? This is really good. You can feel it, you can scroll. Okay, and the piece de la resistance. Ooh, yeah, this is like a proper keyboard. Obviously, I'm a lot slower at typing, but it does feel nice. Whoa, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at it go, Whee! Are we actually doing a keyboard review? You are, yeah. Oh, why? Who's gonna watch this? Are you watching this? Are you still watching? All right, my friends, so here it is, the Logitech MK220. I'm gonna be using it with MacBook Pro over here. And the great thing about it, when your MacBook Pro keyboard fails, look, it slots right over it. You get a nice extension of the numpad, and this is the mouse. Now this mouse 
is actually bigger than a mouse I've been using previously. I've had this mouse for 20 years, Microsoft mouse, and it's worked so well. And this is a new guy, it fits your hand, more comfortable. It's about as long as the Magic Mouse, except it's deeper, so you get a nice, comfortable feel. And I'm gonna be comparing all these three mice, and of course the keyboard of this guy, a cheap as hell eBay keyboard, and of course the MacBook Pro keyboard all together. So to start this up first, I've got the USB stick, I've got an adapter on it, I'm gonna plug it in and show you what happens. So I plugged it in right now. Straight away, it says, keyboard has been detected. Do you wanna continue? And look, the mouse, it just works out of the box. Look, it's just working. This is the kind of speed and resolution I'm getting. It's 1,000 DPI in comparison to my Magic Mouse. Feels slightly smoother, maybe a couple of more dots per inch compared to this one. However, um, both of them work better than my Microsoft Mouse. Look, it's, a bit, it's very chuggy. It's not working too well. It used to work really well. However, at the moment, it's not working too well. So it did used to work really well in the past, but used this for 20 years, so I don't blame it for failing. And a lot of it is to do with the position of where you put. So if you put your dongle close to the mouse, it works a lot better than if you put your dongle far away. So right now I'm using the keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna hit continue. It tells you shift on, is that left shift? Left on left key, so it's Z and then forward slash. It's an ANSI, done, that's it. The keyboard is ready. It's cool, I'm using this keyboard on top of the MacBook Pro, everything seems to be working. I love you. My, oh my god, I can't read you my keyboard. You are so workable to me. Can't you see? You're everything I wanted. You're everything I need. You are so workable to me. All right, some tips. I gotta say, it's uh, it's a keyboard. <laughs> it's doing, it's working. I personally, I'm gonna say this. I love how the MacBook Pro keyboard feels. It's it's so soft and smooth. Like there isn't that much space between the actual presses of the keys, so you don't have to put much pressure on the keyboard. But I gotta say, when I'm playing video games. I love this because I can damage it. I feel like I can press around with it. It's nice, it, you feel it. You feel like it's a lot's going on and it's got all these extra num keys to have a little play with. So the fact that I can just... <laughs> it's durable. <laughs> so the fact that it slots along, it's nice, it's smooth. You play some games. I recommend this, it comes with batteries. It works well, it's a nice brand. You get a warranty, it's got a Swiss logo on it. What more could you want? I know what book you want. You want a female point of view because you're sick of the patriarchy taking over technology, isn't it? Well, I got something for you. Ash, what's this? Your MacBook has grown a keyboard. Oh, wait, I think it's the Logitech keyboard. <laughs> Let's take a look and see how it feels. Hi. Ooh, this is nice. You like it? Yeah, I do. It's really bouncy. I really like the keys. It's really comfortable. Good day to you all. Wishing you a, a happy new... It feels really nice. You know when you feel like you're an important person and you're like writing a memo out to your company and what you want to do is just have that gratification, that satisfaction of pressing a key and feeling like, yeah, I'm about to boss this memo. Memo to all staff, you're fired. <laughs> Look at that. I feel like a big boss. All right, now that we sacked all the stuff, let's see how it compares to a MacBook keyboard. Actually, this actually feels a lot nicer. The MacBook keyboard feels a lot smoother to touch. You actually have to press less firmly and less hard than this Logitech one. This one makes a nice sound, and sometimes it's quite satisfactory to be typing and making a sound. However, this one's a bit more discreet if you're in Starbucks and you kind of want to just write that memo without anybody noticing that your CEO is in Starbucks drinking a coffee latte, then this is the one to go for. But yeah, I totally think this is good for gaming because if you're kind of playing Tomb Raider and you're really angry, really scared, or you know, you just really, go, oh my god, help me! Ah! Whereas you probably don't really want to mess up your beautiful MacBook keyboard, which is already quite fragile anyway. All right, now let's see how the mice do. Okay, so this is this is the mouse that comes with it. It's really comfortable actually. 
I'm liking it. It's comfortable. It sits nicely in my hand. I don't have big hands, but I do feel like it sits very nicely. I've got a good uh, position for the uh, left hand button and the right hand button. And it's nice that it's got a scroll and the scroll works. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Let's see how it fares with moving around. So nice, nice smooth traction actually on the screen. It's not jumping at all, it's not catching. It's kind of going really flowing and nicely. And I'm gonna test out the scroller as well. So just scrolling up and down. Yeah, it's really satisfactory. It's so nice. It's really nice that it kind of scrolls endlessly and you don't have like a, you know, an end point or a start point. I like that. Clicking's good. It's very receptive and it's nice and accurate. So nice and reassuringly that the buttons work, the scroll is good and it tracks along nicely along the screen. I'm quite happy with that. That's a good, you know, for a cheap mouse, this actually fares quite nicely. So this is that horrible piece of that we got from eBay and I just want to show you how small it is in comparison. So Magic Mouse, Logitech Mouse and eBay Mouse. This one is nice, I can rest my hand on it really well. Now however this one, oh my days, my hand is literally falling off the edges. Just come check this out, come check this out. Okay with this one I had a really nice resting, with this one like my fingers are falling. It's like my palm of the hand is not even on the mouse. I actually think that the Logitech mouse is actually more comfortable for me personally than this one. The reason being is because this has got quite sharp edges and that does kind of cause some sort of abrasion to the side of my skin. Whereas this one is nice and smooth and soft. It's got curved, smooth lines. So yes, I know the Magic Mouse is, you know, quite expensive and you can check out the video we did for that. But I have to say, this one is actually, in my personal opinion, a lot more comfortable. All right, I'm off to sack some more employees. Excuse me.